Today I wanted to show you guys a solar powered electric fence setup that I built. And here in a minute we're going to be changing out the charge controller with this charge controller that I picked up from a company called Batteria. Um, this is a Bluetooth ca ca capable unit that will uh, be a nice upgrade to the system. Help me monitor the, the battery and the functionality of the system. The first question I want to answer for you guys is why you'd want to build something like this rather than pick up one of the ready-made units that already have the solar panel and battery all built in. And that main reason is, is power. Um, those ready-made units put out between 0.1 and 0.2 joules. When If you build something like this, you can get a full joule out of it and more depending on the, the fence controller that you pick up. And that power does a few things for you. Uh, here on our place, we raise lambs. And those lambs will touch that fence once and then they won't touch it again. Um, it really gives them a jolt that first time and it teaches them real quick to, to stay away from that fence line. Uh, it also keeps predators out. Um, with the uh, predators around here, we're in coyote country and there's also domestic dogs that are hungry for those lambs and uh, it helps keep those predators out. So that would be the main reason you'd want to build something like this is uh, just to help protect your livestock a little bit better. Um, you also get a lot more backup power depending on the size of battery that you choose to use and uh, that, if you have a lot of cloudy days your fence isn't going to go down. Um, the other nice thing about the extra power of a unit like this is if you have weeds growing up or grass that grows up and, and touches your fence line, your fence is still going to remain powerful even, even through a lot of that growth. So that would be the main reason that you'd want to do something like this is just simply getting more power. So let's go over the components of the system. This system's pretty simple to put together. Up top here we have a 30 watt solar panel. From the solar panel, we go around here to the opposite side of the post, and uh, we have our little 10 amp charge controller. From the charge controller, it goes down to this battery, and from the battery, we'll come back around here, and from the battery, it goes back up to the fence controller. So pretty simple system. You got solar panel, charge controller, battery, fence controller. The components cost you about the same as one of the ready-made units, depending on the battery size that you decide to do. Um, it's pretty cost-effective, but you get 10 times the power that you get out of those ready-made systems. The battery that I chose to use was a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery. That gives me tons and tons of backup for uh, cloudy days. I can have several cloudy days in a row and not worry about my fence getting lower on power or going out on me. It also gives me the ability in an emergency, I could hook a small inverter to it and uh, be able to charge some things and uh, have that backup power. So those are the components of the system. Let's go ahead and get that charge controller changed out. Here's our new charge controller that we picked up from Battery of Power. This should be a perfect component for our electric fence system. It's got the SAE connectors already built into it, so it should be a simple install. It's 100% waterproof and it's got the temperature compensation for the hot and cold environments that we're going to be dealing with out here. It works with 12 and 24 volt systems as well as multiple battery types like your gel and AGM and lithium batteries. It's got all the protections built into it um, so it'll protect your system. And it has that Bluetooth feature that's going to be really nice for monitoring our, our electric fence and making sure our battery is charging and that everything's working the way it's supposed to. So let's see what we got inside the box here. So inside the box we got a couple SAE connectors. These would be used to connect to your battery or to your solar panel. Our solar panel already has one as well as our battery so that'll be an easy connection for us so we'll go ahead and set these aside. Inside a bubble wrap package we have the charge controller. Looks to be a quality component here and packaged really nicely. It's got its instructions as well as the information to download the app inside. So let's get our old charge controller pulled off and unplugged. We'll set things here. So one of these goes to the battery, one of them goes to our solar panel. So let's get rid of that one and a good old one, but uh, time to get, time to be replaced. Here's our new charge controller. Right from the packaging, we have the SAE 
connectors connected, so we'll go ahead and disconnect those. On the face here, there's a little picture of a battery, as well as a little picture of a sunshine. So this side's going to go out to our batteries. This side's going to be going out to our solar panel. That's nice that they put it on there. That makes it really difficult to screw it up. Um, so at this point in the installation, the most important thing is making sure our polarities are correct when we start connecting things. So here in my hand, I have the, the cable that goes to the solar panel. We're going to line that up as if we're going to plug it in, but not quite plug it in and just make sure our reds go into red and blacks go into black. And in this situation, that's what it looks like. Looks like if we connect this, red's going to connect to red and black's going to connect to black. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And now we'll do the same thing on the battery side. And so on the battery side of things, let's go ahead and hold that up, line those up and make sure and look at that, we are opposite. So if I plug this in right now, black would be going to red and red would be going to black and that'll, that'll fry the controller. So um, there's a couple options that you have at this point. You can either use an adapter like we're gonna be using today or you can cut this end off and use one of the pigtails that came in the packaging with the charge controller. So I have this little adapter here, um, these are pretty cheap to pick up and you'll go ahead and plug that in and then we'll plug this one into this side now you can see that if we plug these in we'll have red to red and black to black like we're supposed to and nothing will nothing will be screwed up with the system so we'll go ahead and plug those in check all the connections make sure things are tight go back to our charge controller we got lights flashing here I hope you guys can see those in the camera um, right now, it looks like we're, our battery's sitting at 100%. We're charging at 0.4 amps, and our battery voltage is at 14.3 volts. It's already got gel selected, which is what we wanted it to be, and uh, that's the type of battery I have here. That can be adjusted inside the settings by following the instructions. We'll go ahead now and do some basic wire management and mount this uh, charge controller as well as download the application so that we can try out the Bluetooth. We've got the charge controller mounted to the post. Everything's lit up, functioning the way it's supposed to. I've taken and tucked all my wires away out of the weather. I like to take a little bit of electrical tape and wrap around the SAE connectors. Um, that just makes sure everything stays put and uh, offers it a little bit more weather protection. So that's all done. Everything's functioning the way it's supposed to. This electric fence is operational. Now let's go check out that Bluetooth app. Here we are inside the Bluetooth application, and I have to say this is one of the most simple Bluetooth setups I've ever done. I wish everything was this easy. I took a picture of the QR code, took me to the Google Play Store, downloaded the app, hit the Bluetooth icon in the top right corner. It found the charge controller and updated all the information. We can see our solar input, our battery status, historical data, and even the temperature outside, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, so that's a, a great little application. It's going to be awesome to be able to check my fence, make sure everything's working like it's supposed to, and protecting my livestock. This really has been a great little electric fence setup. It's offered that little bit of extra security and protection to my livestock. If you're interested in building something like this, I'll leave links down in the description below to the components that you're going to need. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.